All right, so welcome back from the break. You're still watching The Morning Rush here with me, Desmond Okreku, now to call me Desipated at the Starboy. And I mentioned earlier that we've got conversation coming up and uh, we've been catching up uh, already offset, but it's now time to get into the conversation proper. And joining me this morning is uh, a man with a very beautiful name that we've been talking about, Aspect Kaiko. He's the president for Ekanka Ghana. And we're talking about the Ekanka um, African Seminar, what the seminar is about and how beneficial that will be to a country and every other person that will be part of it and so um do take note of that and let me remind you that we are live on facebook and metro tv ghana and also on dstv channel 277 let's get into it good morning say you welcome good morning good to good to see you good to yeah. um hear the the name and everything about it offset yeah, yeah. People, yeah. people our viewers wouldn't know that but but yeah <laughs> I, I, I loved it now yeah. let's get into Enkanka ghana if um Maybe someone is watching. We all have heard about a kanka, but we probably haven't gotten in to understand what a kanka really is about. So, if you could just take us through uh, something brief about a kanka, the history of it, sir. Now, a kanka mm. is a two syllable. The first one is the ek, ek, mm. and then anka. Okay. It's a Pali language, one of the oldest languages on earth. And you know, you describe religion more with language which is as old as time. Not okay. the English language, mm. because the English is quite recent. Yeah. Now, ek means the Holy Spirit. Mm. Anka means the way. So, the way of the Holy Spirit. Oh, ek wow. anka means the way of the Holy Spirit. Oh. You, yes. So, and we have a holy book. Our holy book is not uh, bearing the English, it's, an, it's uh, Shariat Ki Sugman, also Pali language. Mm. Shariat Ki Sugman means the way of the eternal, the way of God. Wow. Yes. And uh, what is even unique about El Kanka is that it has a living spiritual master. Because when you have a living spiritual master, the purity of the teaching is maintained mm. absolutely. Every year, new guidelines come from our headquarters, that's in the U.S., okay. in the Sota State, saying that, don't say this, say that, this and that. To guide Bec you through. Yes, mm -hmm. because all religions are relevant. Yeah. That's what the spiritual master said. God has put all these religions so that people can travel on these uh, paths, which is very comfortable to them. And okay. that is why somebody said that, uh, there are several paths to the mountain of God, mm. but only one view. If you all get to the top, you see the same thing. But whilst you are moving, people are the mind is the best, you know, this yeah, and that yeah. and that kind of yeah. thing. So Ekanka is, in fact, it's a part of spiritual freedom. The key uh, challenge that uh, average person faces is that he's not spiritually free. Because if you are spiritually free, there are certain things you wouldn't do. Mm. Okay. A person who is spiritually free acts on the details of the voice of God. And the voice of God is the ek. And the ek means the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Because when the Holy Spirit, the voice of God, comes into your life, you know what is right. You know what is wrong. What is wrong. Yes. It's interesting to hear um, these... Um, for for me and for many of our viewers, I'm sure yeah. they're excited to hear about this. But let's b narrow it down to Ghana. Yeah. Um, how long has the um, Ekanka been in Ghana and what's the population uh, like? It was uh, established here in 1976. So that was when we got the, the license to operate in Ghana. Okay. But before, it was in the other countries. Mm. Yes. And uh, in each country, when things are okay, it is recognized as a region. So Ghana is a region. It's a region. Nigeria is a region. Then uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Benin, Togo, all these are regions. All regions. Okay. And regions are manned by ek spiritual aid. That is, the, he oversees the spiritual part of it. In other words, if there is a policy, we should be changed. It is the uh, ek spiritual aid who interacts with the living ek master in Shanghassen 
and then they work out and then the message comes to him and then the message is passed on to the president and the president executes it because he is the administrative head. Okay. So these races come together uh, to organize these uh, huge, uh, big seminars. Okay. Yeah, the last time Ghana hosted this was in 2012. And from there, it rotated. It went to Benin, it went to Nigeria, it came to Togo, Côte d'Ivoire. It has gone around and then it's now back to Ghana. To Ghana. So it is, it is not a seminar we joke with. Okay. And many people have benefited a lot from such uh, uh, enormous uh, sort of uh, uh, activity mm. that uh, characterizes uh, uh, sort of a seminar. The, the seminar. We're we'll getting to the, the benefits. And so um, in Ghana, yeah. I wanted to know um, the, the number of people yeah. who are in the Enkanka, you know. Uh, yeah. Is there a church? Yes, so we, we, yes. Okay. Uh, as the living egg matter keeps saying, mm. any spiritual path, any serious spiritual path does not talk more about numbers. Okay. Mm. Yes, because numbers can mislead. Okay. Why people don't uh, uh, go into spiritual paths is that the spiritual path will give you techniques to work out things yourself. And when people are lazy, they don't want such parts. They want someone to do it for them. Okay. You, you get the point. Yeah. So people, I remember I heard some years back that somebody said, I can put this money across. Anybody who wants to register for a and car, I take it for my, the money I have devoted. And then uh, the living health master said, no, it's not done like that. If somebody wants to register, he should fight, get his money, and pay. And pay. You are not to do it. And he asked the man a very important question. Are you ready to take the karmic burden of those people, you, millions of people, you don't have to pay anything. My money is there. You register. If there is a, maybe the person is not ready, but because you have put money there, the person has to he, he comes that. in and then he messes his own life. Are you ready to take the effect of what you have done? Mm. So the man had to do. I can tell you somewhere else, they will clap for such a person. So that tells you that it's not a numbers game. It is people who have reached a certain level, certain stage of their lives, and they feel that we need a change. Okay. And that is why numbers for me doesn't count so much. And the living health master talks about it. Okay. But if you want the numbers, we're talking between 1,500, 2,000. In Ghana. In Ghana. In Togo, okay. it's very huge. In uh, Benin, it's very huge, depending on the environment. Okay. Great. Good to, good to hear that. So if you just join us, we are having a conversation uh, with the president of Ekanka Ghana, Aspect Kaiko, and we're talking about the African seminar um, happening. We're getting into the seminar uh, proper, the, um, how the seminar will be like, the benefits um, of, of that to the country at large, and of course, all persons who will be involved. So, so let's get into the seminar. Yeah. Um, when is it happening? It's happening uh, from 25th to 27th of August. Okay. That is, so that uh, is, this uh, week. It's this week. It's it, it, this week. So that's like from Friday. Yes. From Friday to, to Sunday. Sunday. Okay. But then when we have a major seminar like this, mm. we preface it with uh, what we call public workshop. Okay. And that is coming on Thursday. 24th. The public, yes, the public workshop is such an uh, important part of the seminar okay. that sometimes it is oversubscribed. Mm. And then the public workshop theme is getting your own answers from God. Getting your own, own answers. answers. Oh, that's quite an interesting You are thing. not depending on anyone to say, God say, make I tell you that. <laughs> God say, make I do this and that. Because it's a spiritual technique. Okay. Once you use the technique, mm. you will get the answers either God through yourself. dreams or any other way that the Holy Spirit tells you. Holy Spirit to you. So you are not going to anybody because the person may even embellish mm. the message okay. because of vanity. He wants to be praised or so revered. Mm. Uh -huh. So you can find that uh, the seekers are very, very, very unsure to attend such a workshop. So we'll tell you how to get those answers from God 
so that they are direct answers. You wake up and say, oh, I see. This is the reason why this thing is all going on and on and on. Okay. You get the point. Because if you go to someone, he must, you could say a whole lot of a, a whole lot of a, lo yes. a whole lot of things so that will be on thursday that's the public <laughs> workshop yes. and the um then the actual seminar starts on, starts friday. on friday and mm. we have a whole program for newcomers okay yes a newcomers for example they will look at what is their can car they will look at uh, dreams mm. because dreams sort of uh, take about 95 percent of our spiritual training okay yeah the physical training, reading from books. How many books can you read in a day? But when you have a dream, you can see that the message you get can last for even a year. Because you are created in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. And so, it's not this body. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for persons who will be coming in, yeah. As individuals, what would they be benefiting from this? Uh, they, they will plan. Mm. There are workshops for them. Mm. There are what some what we call round tables. Okay. Round tables are more like a spiritual gathering, so we limit the number. Okay. That is only twelve people can come in. Okay. And interestingly, any experience which is shared in round table forum must not be said shared anywhere else. Because it's a secret. It's like mm. a family having spiritual Me sort too. of okay. a discussion. As for a workshop, 200 people yeah, can, can come in and listen mm. and go here and say this about round tables. And I haven't seen any religious organization that is having that distinction. Mm. The round tables. Okay. We have the children's program. Starting from, we have about four levels. Okay. Zero to four, uh, five to eight, nine to twelve. And 13 to 17. And if you read what they are going to do there, you will marvel. Mm -hmm. Because all of these are authenticated from the source. That's where the master is. He has written over 100 books. So that those things, the Holy Scriptures, have been brought down to the level that people will understand. Because as you know, the Holy Book, uh, normally it comes, uh, a whole lot is fused into one okay. sentence. Okay. But you need a master to bring it down. To break them. Yes. Okay. So a uh -huh. master is acting like the living word. Because you remember, you read a holy book. You mm -hmm. said, yeah. in the beginning was the word. The yeah. word is the egg. The word was with God. The word was God. The word came down mm -hmm. as a person. Yeah. That is the living word. And the complementary statement is that God becomes man, so that man may become God. So God, sort of the spirit, pluralizes on someone as a spiritual master in various areas. And through him, you would also be able to reach God. Okay. That's, that's great to hear. A very insightful conversation <laughs> about, about, about this particular <laughs> seminar. What kind of people are we expecting? At, uh, over 5,000. Over 5,000 yes. from different regions. From different uh, regions. Mm. There are 32 countries. Okay. And from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from USA. Okay. You get the point. So mm. it's, it's, it's quite a huge uh, seminar. Okay. And it is going to change, I, I believe, the landscape spiritual landscape of this mm. country. Mm. And, and what about on a larger um, scale, the benefits that you know, as a country, um, with this as a country for in, mm. the, in the area of tourism. Mm. Yesterday, I was at the temple to see uh, our youth was planning a camp out. Okay. And then the camp out is taking place in the Aquapium area. Okay. Nigerians, other country youth are all here. And yesterday, the buses uh, took off to took off. Took okay. that place. So for people of Equatrim, the, 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 the benefit is quite huge. They will be there for three days. Okay. You'll get a point. Getting involved, buying this food, this and that. And then for uh, the country, 5,000 people come into this country. Your guess is as good as mine. Mm. Yes. So tourism, uh, Minister for, Ministry of uh, Tourism, is very, very interested in this. Okay. And then they keep telling us we are putting these uh, number of buses. If uh, people come and they want to travel, this is what uh, the facility that and is available. Okay. We're talking to the hotels. 
and the hotels are even giving concessions. Yes, about the rates. Wow. Because they know what they stand to get. Yeah, true. On the normal sequence, how many people go to a hotel? Yeah. But now the hotels are crowded. Mm -hmm. And so they say we even reduce the rates through the intervention of the ministry, the government apparatus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's 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 a very, very the enormous bene yes. benefits. The yeah. other benefit yeah. which I think is hidden, which mm. people don't uh, easily uh, when a group of people with that spiritual focus, when they meet, mm. they generate a lot of spiritual energy. We okay. call that the aura. Mm. Yeah. So you can imagine 5,000 people in their room, dancing, singing, and uh, doing uh, certain spiritual exercises. Mm. You can see the aura that comes out. So the multiplicity of such aura benefits anybody who gets into the place. Okay. So you go there and you come out and you feel that you yes. You feel that, yeah. You, you yes, have okay. Just like somebody going to church is so uh, angry, is so worried. He goes there, he dances this and that and that. At the time the church Person, ends, yeah. he feels relieved. Yeah. And this is one of the hidden benefits that of, of maybe it. many people are not aware. So we need to okay. remind them wow. about it. That's amazing. So uh, the X seminar, as we've talked about, um, the public workshop starts on Thursday. Uh, the theme is very important: getting your own answers from God. Yes. <laughs> getting your own answers from God. So it's not the the, uh, God say make I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he heard it from uh, um, him. You know, like God say make I tell you. See, this is what is going to happen. But you hear from God yourself with that particular uh, workshop, so you can be part of it, and then. The seminar, the X seminar, I, I should presume, should be Holy Spirit seminar. Yes. Right. Great. So that's from um, Friday, twenty fifth to Sunday, twenty seventh of August. And where, where would the venue be? The venue will be at our temple. Okay. We, our temple is in East Legon. Okay. Now, when you go in towards Medina and you get to the traffic light on your left, you have the University Sports Stadium. Yeah. And you turn right. Okay. We're going to Opongulo. Mm -hmm. The next uh, two tents on your right, there is a uh, what is taxi rank there. Okay. Then you turn right. Once you turn right, immediately you turn left. You have Irata Hotel. Mm -hmm. We share the wall with Irata, with Irata Hotel. Okay. And many people have also uh, sort of praised the Ekanka that when we have a seminar of this nature, there is a guest speaker. Okay. And the guest speaker is just not chosen. If you choose a guest speaker, it has to be authenticated from our headquarters. That is uh, where the master is. So who is coming this year? Yeah, it's uh, one uh, Alapiki, Henry Alapiki. He is a racer for Nigeria. Okay. Uh -huh. And he is also a professor of uh, political science in one of the universities in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, so he will speak on Thursday, the public workshop. The public workshop. And then Friday he will speak. On Saturday he will speak. On Sunday, Sunday he will speak. So you can you can you, afford to you can afford to miss this <laughs> one. All right, so we're wrapping up this conversation with the aspect Kaiko, who is the president of Ekanka Ghana, um, about the seminar. So just as we wrap it up, um, anything you want to add that we probably haven't talked about? Yes, uh, sometimes people have misconceptions, mm. uh -huh, but that is what religion is all about. It's about mm. uh, until you have gone in. And then you have experienced it, then you say, oh, where have I been all these years? It's the same thing I said to myself. I joined Ekanka 44 years ago. 44? Yes. And the first few years, I said, hmm. So this religion is saying, I didn't know. You, 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 you got the point. Yeah. So just this encounter might change your life for good. And that is why people... Don't miss this opportunity. As I, yesterday, I was at the temple, and a delegate from Togo have mm. already arrived, even though the thing is on Thursday. Oh, Thursday, they already they, they're already there, checking into the hotels. Why have these people come so early? It's something they don't want to miss. They don't want to miss. So okay. your life will change, will give you a very important and basic uh, prayer song, which is the hue, H U. Okay. That is the holy name of God, the secret name of God. 
All the names we have given to God only describe him. Yami means when you get him, you are satisfied. Yankopon means he's a great friend. The gods will say, Atar na yomo. The others will say, Mawu. And this, that's not the name of God. Look at the word human being. H-U, that's God. So you are God, man, being. We will go human being, human being. I, I don't know how many understand it. Really? The hue is God, man. If you close your two ears with your two fingers, the only sound you hear is hue, which means you were created on that sound. So go, the, the, the hue, just before we hue go. Hue is God, because that's the name of God. Is, 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 so you is are a human being. When we say you are a human being, it means you are God, man, being. Because you were created in the image and likeness of God. I, I, was, I was interested in how the hue came about. Yes. Um, if you could share that. It uh, was discovered, you... discovered by these spiritual masters of old. Okay. Yes. So hue. And we've been using it even in this country. When people go to the forest and then they get lost, mm. what do they do? They do that. And surprisingly, them, there could be a response. You go to the beach, the waves break. You start your car, press the accelerator. Mm. What sound comes out? Mm. The light, the, the fridge, mm. the electricity transforming station pass by and hear the sound. Mm. That is the universal sound. That is the sound you need to change your life. And okay. I can car will freely give this to you and then help you join the summer. It. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining You're us welcome, this sir. morning. So, You're uh, welcome. Aspect Kaiko is the president of uh, Ekanka Ghana and the seminar, uh, as we've talked about, happening this weekend, 25th to 27th of August, at the temple in East Legon. So, you can be a part of, of that.